Well, we found out the staple gun works best when you put staples in it. <laughs> At today's project, we have yet another Ducati seat. What did we do? Three of these already this year? No, Mark had one and Luciano had two. This one looks like it's in better shape than the other ones. We got some of the material. This is Joanne fabric material again. Should be a piece of cake. The repulsor Luciano Felici will demonstrate how to put batting over the seat. To get that nice finished look. Yeah, oh yeah, look at that. He looks like a bit goer, right? Yeah, yeah. They use blanket. this for diapers, too, Full like you blanket. said. Yeah. Well, we're going to glue it down with the contact glue first. This is make up, mix up for the imperfections. Yeah, something. well, here's what. Oh, let me show this on the video. This this has a thing. The, the original seat had this, this line in here, which we want to eliminate. Now, if we grind a foam, that gets to be messy, number one. But what we're going to try to do, we got two things to try. We're going to try putting a batting over this, glue it down with contact cement, and see if it covers that up. If it doesn't, we'll pull this off, and then I'll grind this down no, it with a belt sander. It did cover last time. Last time it did, but you never know. And you know how fussy my customers are. My customers <laughs> Especially don't. Especially when they pay. <laughs> they, exactly. They pay. They they, when we go to the pizza parlor and you give them the bill for five dollars, they, they have good, a heart attack. They want a good quality job. They they want they want wine quality but beer prices. And <laughs> then they always make excuses because they didn't want to pay you. Oh yeah, yeah. They write me a check on ice and pay me in the summer. The advantage of using a batting we found is you can wrap it around the edge. That, that keeps that from ripping at the edge at, as time goes by. Now, oh, you want to have enough all right, all right, all right. when you do it. You've done this before. Right? You know, we, forgot, we made a pizza paw before. I forgot you're going to glue it. That's right. I'm gonna, now, cut this, but leave me enough that it comes up here. Leave plenty. This stuff is cheap. This, this was, I think, only about $10 for a roll. You could do four or five seats. Those are razor sharp. Now, don't cut no, yourself. <laughs> I don't cut <laughs> I, are you adult enough I could give you the sharp scissors? <laughs> so any real spray cement is fine. This is just ordinary for crafts. They use it for other stuff. You had a can of the stuff they sold you to automotive stuff? It's a 3M. 3M, yeah. It, it, all they do is double the price and put it in a different can. Yeah. Okay, so the, we got the contact cement on there. We want to have it dry to where it's just sticky, which it is right now. As long as your finger sticks to it, can I see it on it? get the batting. Like we did on a, we did this on the first two Ducati seats. You got three of these. You got three seats for this bike now. <laughs> what you need is three asses, and you'll be there'll be a nice even number. Okay. Yeah, try not to get any wrinkles in it. It won't matter if you do, but just make it a nicer job so people think we know what the hell we're doing. Okay. Let's go get the wrinkles out of it. Press it down. Bob Pelican's here to supervise. He's in management today. You see, whenever a guy's here and he has hands in his pockets, that's a bad sign. <laughs> you got to be on the A team. Your hands have to be doing this. Getting dirty and cutting your fingers with razors and stuff. It's terrible when you're a master, master craftsman. Look at look at the man with his razor sharp scissors. I, I gave him the pair of scissors. It's so dull. You can't cut yourself yeah, with them. Yeah, they a little bit. Not that no, much. I made a set for the baby so he couldn't cut his nose off while he's playing oh. over there. We're going to tell a real secret. Mark and the baby were playing on the marble run last night. And the baby came running upstairs and said, I gave Mark a good whipping. <laughs> he beat him at marbles. Look at that marble run over there. Wow. Go, go. Right around the whole edge. You can even see it. Yeah, to see the, this batting. We didn't do this years ago, but the batting really gives it a real luxury look. Yeah, check it, check it. We got enough for material. Okay. And it doesn't matter how you put this material is flexible in every dimension. Yeah. As we say that, he's got a small... I Luckily, I'm not a cheapskate. I buy a whole yard. <laughs> hey, hey, you got enough. That's it's enough. a lot... Uh, oh, you got plenty. You got plenty. It's a lot of waste, I'll tell you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yes. if we get two seats out of a yard, what'd you pay? 20 bucks a yard? Uh, 19, I think 15, it was. 15, something. And Mark was the one had the first one. That, it was on sale. It was yeah. On sale. Seven inches. So what we found out from doing the last Ducati seat, that the quarter-inch staples... Because this plastic was really hard. The quarter inch weren't holding on as good. We tried 3 8 Of course, I got another thing. I bought the same brand. But the main thing not to miss is don't buy the regular staples. The heavy duty. If it, if it doesn't say heavy duty, it's a problem. All right, so we got the first layer of staples in. Just roughly got to have this on, and we're working it, working it up to the front. The other one's thin. Oh, okay. 
What? <laughs> what? The beautiful work I did. You did? <laughs> Bob did it! <laughs> it wasn't me. I didn't do anything. Karen did it. Blame Karen. Okay, now, the, what we got to do now, we're going to start heating. You got a little and bubble. Right? Yeah, no, we're going to stretch it. Heat it and stretch it. It's You can do it without heating it, but boy, does it make it easier if you can just heat that up with a hair dryer or a heat gun. Better if I, if I did put a riser on the handlebar, it probably then it would be okay. And just a minimum of heat here, then we'll stretch one side and then the other side. It just makes it a little bit easier. Ago. Okay, the heat took about half of it out. We're going to wait. And then we're going to go all around a perimeter here. And then we've got to take out one by one. Take out the staples. that These are all temporary staples. One by one. Get rid of all the little wrinkles that we have. Divide the wrinkle in half. Put the final staples in. And then Luciano's going to write me a check on ice and pay me in the summer. <laughs> okay, we found... Maybe you're out of staples. We point? found out the staple gun works best when you put staples in it. <laughs> now once he gets a, what he's doing, a perimeter of the final staples, we'll trim this off and pull out all these hand staples. So beautiful, the way the staples all worked out, the Hitachi gun, now we can use this. And if you flip it over, let's see what the, how the whole thing looked on the end. Beautiful. Wow. Boy, you know your stuff, I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. You know that, what you're doing. That, that's, that's not even giving you enough credit for what. That's, <laughs> that's why you get paid a lot of money. Whoa, that's why you could afford to own all these expensive, <laughs> expensive restoration motorcycles. That looks good. That really came out nice. Yeah. Now this is always the hardest part of the job. Collecting the money. <laughs> Always the most hard part. I gotta make you wait for that shit. Oh, God! Absolutely. You get paid when I get paid. Oh, jeez. <laughs>